for an absolutely magic morning. All right, here we go. Big day today. Um, getting up, well, going to Tuolumne Meadows and then hoping to get up somewhere near Donahue Pass. Um, don't think I'll get over it. I would like to, but um, I think I'm going to stop just short. But yeah, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But um, last night was great. There was, um, you know, a fair amount of moisture in the air, which was like yesterday at Clouds Rest Junction. It was so, so dry, um, even overnight and warm. And last night it was, I'd say upper 40s. I just feel a lot, lot better with that. I guess my biggest struggle to this point has just been the heat. Um, and being at, well, I'll probably be around 9,000 feet plus for the most part for the rest of this, or at least the majority of this this journey. So that means, or should mean some cooler temperatures. So um, that'll be welcome for sure. But anyways, it's gonna be a great day. So here we go. Back on trail. The second family has a nice buck back there. Four of them here that I've seen. Oh no, one of five. Ooh, that's a big, bigger buck. Wow, beautiful. Appreciate every step out here. It is just stunning. So I am coming up on Tioga Road, which is the only road the actual JMT crosses the entire time. Um, it crosses it twice, so I've been kind of heading northeast since I started in Yosemite Valley. Well, my overall hike is southbound through uh, Tuolumne area is where kind of make a huge U-turn. You go up to uh, Soda Springs and um, kind of turn around there <laughs> and uh, start officially heading south. So I'm going to check all that out and then I'm going to be stopping at the store for uh, a resupply box that I sent myself. Um, I'm expecting it to be pretty noisy through here because they're doing a cut that ton of construction this year. Um, a lot of this area is shut down, like the backpackers campground is closed. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting, but we'll see how it goes. Here we are in Tuolumne Meadows. A lot quieter than the last time I was here. Here I am at beautiful Soda Springs. You can see it kind of bubbling 
right out of the earth there. And then in this little hut, that's where a lot of people come and get some water. At this intersection, I am officially joining Pacific Crest Trail. I am headed to the post office. Get my reason. Alright, I am leaving the Tuolumne Meadows store. Leaving Tuolumne Meadows, headed up Lyle Canyon. Spent about an hour, but it was an hour well used. I got to charge my phone. Um, had a, a Coke and then a beer, the string cheese. A little while ago, I passed the junction to go up to Young Lakes. Um, I did that last year when I did my loop through Yosemite, and if you are ever doing a backpacking trip in the Tuolumne area, it is a must stop, um, especially the third and highest Young Lake. It's absolutely incredible. So, if you ever go to Yosemite and Tuolumne, do it. More signs. This one's pretty special though because last year there was a note on here that said the national forests were closed. There it is, the sign as I had Blyle Canyon towards Donahue Pass and you could not go past Donahue Pass. It was also incredibly quiet through Lyle Canyon last year with the closures. I think I saw two other backpackers the whole time maybe. Which is quite a bit different from this year so far. Um, up at Tuolumne Meadows store there were quite a bit of people just heading out their Lyle Canyon permits. So I've only seen a couple other JMT hikers so far, but it sounds like that is about to change and I will see many more. Took a 
much needed to do that last part. So the big question I'm struggling with is whether I should try to get over Donahue Pass today or if I should camp right before. But I guess I'm jumping a little ahead. We'll see how I'm feeling when I get there. I just passed a park ranger, um, or at least somebody who works for the park, and they said that there's a bear that's been active in this area here, um, at the range of like 12 miles. So what happened was some people were like, you know, setting up camp and doing whatever and left their bear canister out and opened, and the bear came and got into it and you know they didn't want to go run after the bear so the bear pretty much got what was in there apparently this happened for five days in a row so now the bear is trying to do that to everybody um, so it's been a few days since that has happened um, but apparently it's been it's not responsive to people yelling it's been coming by camp at night doesn't sound pleasant to have to worry about a bear when I'm sleeping, so definitely want to try to at least get a ways up Donahue. And furthest goal is to get over and down, but that would be a huge day, so not sure if I'm quite up for that. We'll see. Right over there, 
is my spot from last year. Oh, it's back. And I know it's right before the climb starts to die here, so here we go. Donahue's here's no joke of a climb. Wait a sec. Down there is where I was thinking of camping originally, but it's only 3.48. I'm really tempted to try to make the pass. So it'd be great to get over. Sight in the Lyle Canyon and Yosemite. Pretty sure John Muir climbed up there and used the stick to measure the recession of the glacier. Now it's at a point where technically I don't think it would be considered a glacier anymore. But it's the closest I've ever come to seeing one, and it's pretty amazing. This little pond was completely dry last year. I am nearly to the top of Donahue Pass. I did it. I am at the top of Donahue Pass. <sighs> Man, I can't, can't believe I'm up here. I have, uh, I've thought about this moment for a long time. It is a little sad to be saying goodbye to Yosemite.
All right, I'm now headed into the Ansel Adams Wilderness in Inyo National Forest. Let's do this. From this point on, everything is completely new to me. I am so excited to see it. That's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the day. 22 miles today, I am feeling it and exhausted. So, point four to camp, looking forward to getting there. But man, I did not expect this to be so amazing. I think I say that every day, much every Sunday see, but it's true. All right. Uh, hopefully I have a good night ahead of me, and I will see you in the morning. Tonight's view from inside the tent.